In the past, I've done this whole tracking what I spend in a week thing, and it hasn't really gone great. Bought some things on the little more expensive side. Could I be better? Yeah, I probably could have spent less money. Time to pay up. $1,220.77. So this week, I'm gonna try it again, but I'm going to put myself on a budget. Now, I looked back at my previous weeks, and I really analyzed things I don't need to be spending money on, and what would a reasonable budget look like? I think it's definitely possible for me to slash my budget to a third of what it was. So go from I spent $1,567, $1,500 to $500 a week. I know this is still a lot of money, but it's definitely a big lifestyle change for me. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Then hopefully in the weeks coming, I can find other ways to tighten up my budget. So without further ado, let's get into this what I spend in a week. This is actually going to be my first week of being a full-time real estate agent and balancing YouTube. So it's gonna be a very busy week for me. Hi there, how's it going? Good, uh, I'll do the chicken caprese panini. I was at my parents' house this morning and now I'm making my way back to Seattle and we have a lot of much needed errands to be ran. I started sticking on a budget by going and getting something that's just like a convenient Starbucks thing, but that's that's real life right now. I was at my parents' house, they don't really have any food. I'm running a bunch of errands, I'm out and about. I don't have any food at my house. I'm gonna have to do a little grocery shopping this week as well. And this happened, so. Hopefully this is the only time I get Starbucks this week though. Update, I also spent $1. This guy like came up to my car and he was, um, I don't know, he looked kind of random and you probably shouldn't talk to strangers, but he asked if I had three quarters and I didn't, but I had a dollar, so I gave him a dollar. He seemed really surprised that I actually gave him anything or it gave him the time of day and like he was honestly nice, so <laughs> I feel good about that. I feel like I did a good deed for today. All right, first stop, DSW. Clearance, that's what we like to see. So I don't know what it is about me and these what I spend in the week videos, but every time I do this, it's a week where I need new shoes. One item I absolutely needed was a more dressed up shoe. My mom actually had this coupon where if I spend $25, you get $10 off. So before I looked elsewhere, why not see if DSW has something that I could get? This white pair I thought was pretty cute. The original price of them was $100 and then they were listed for I think $60 and then I was gonna use my coupon but then they also had a different offer going on where I could get $15 off versus $10 off. So the total was $49.52. So I found work shoes for under $50. All right, now I'm heading into Target. I forgot what I needed from Target. There was something, um, but I know what I want. These ones are cool, they kind of have this like plating effect. I needed laundry detergent, AA batteries, and then the earrings. These were $9.99 and my total was $26.39. We're already racking up quite a bill today. Like, why is life so expensive? Last errand for the day, hopping in to the store to get some essential food items for the week. I'm not gonna get a lot because I have a blue apron service coming this week, but I'll get into that later when it comes. I foresee my biggest expense being food. So my game plan is to just get some really simple grocery essentials. I think the simpler something is, the less money you're gonna spend. And then I'm gonna pair that with I ordered blue apron for later on in the week to have a little bit of some more fancy dinners that are still healthy and at an affordable price. So I'm gonna make a quick lunch and then pretty much head out the door. <gasps> I'm eating avocado bread. I'm not in the mood for egg. I thought I would be. Being on a budget, I was like, okay, I'm buying these things and this is what I'm gonna eat every day. But I'm not really in the mood for that stuff. Ooh, I have a can of tuna. I'll do that. Maybe I don't. I really thought I did though. All right, I don't have a can of tuna, so I'm making an impromptu, very quick little avocado vegetable sandwich. This is like probably not gonna taste very good. I'll eat this protein bar too. Hi. 
yesterday I I have a confession to make. I wasn't gonna spend any money and then I did. I did. Oh, if Graham Stephan's watching this, he is going to be so disappointed in me because I was having a perfect day and then I I bought this. I'm not gonna lie. I bought this and it was $17.29. It's probably not even worth that. You know, it was just marked up higher. And then I bought it for convenience because I was like, oh, I wanna have a glass of wine tonight. And then I come home to my parents' house. They already had wine. I did not need to buy this. I didn't even need to have the glass of wine. I mean, I know. But this is my wine budget for the week. Just this. Here is breakfast. <laughs> My day just got a lot worse. I was all ready to film, I got ready, and then my microphone. This thing's like ruined <laughs> and I need to get a new cord. I thought about it, I need to be to the office at 4.30, it's two right now. I need to go get the new cord. Not gonna have time on Thursday at all. Oh, and I'm not gonna have any time on Friday. So I absolutely have to do it tomorrow afternoon. So I went to the camera store to go get a new cord. I brought this and I said to the guy, I was like, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's like making a scratchy noise and all this stuff. And he explained to me, he was like, it's all twisted and you have to like literally go like that. I'm gonna try this out first to see if he actually fixed it. And he did. And I'm just so happy that I actually asked. It really pays to ask questions. I'm just gonna put these hoops on that I bought the other day. Ooh, that hoop, that hoop action. I love it. These seriously look like they're from any cool brand, but they're Target, $10. There's a couple things I need to do. I'm not even here right now. Morning. Making some oatmeal. I'm at my parents' house. As you guys know, I'm commuting this week. And yesterday, I didn't spend it. Any money. Didn't spend any money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In my pocket. Come on, mommy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My blue apron is coming today. So I'm so excited about that because those are about to be such delicious dinners. At my house, I'm getting dressed. I'm about to go to the office. I feel like this is actually a cute outfit. I'm trying the DSW shoes. This is gonna have to work. This is, yes, just in time. Okay, perfect, I got dinner for the rest of the week. I have really unfortunate news. I have to spend money today. I spent too long fiddling around on my appearance. I didn't have time to warm up my leftovers or even eat them at all. I have to go now, so I have to buy food. Feeling really validated and good about my shoe purchase. Annie at the front desk said she loved my shoes. So I'm about to show a client this really cool building and essentially what I'm doing right now is trying to find like a good parking spot and I just found one but I need to make you turn so excuse me. my showing. I got food. This was $11.95. Um, I'm gonna try the chickpea and avocado bites. I don't even like chickpeas, so it's actually okay. Mm -mm. Had to get one of these, too. Back to work. I got my blue apron. So I'm not gonna cook one today. I'm going to start them tomorrow because it's like 10.30. I got home at 10.30. I'm, I'm tired and I got home to my parents' house. My mom said, there's pizza here. So we're good. But I'm so excited to make these tomorrow. What is cool about this is, you know, I did my beginning grocery shopping of the week where I got mainly like breakfast and lunch foods and you know, a couple little like dinner sorts of things. Now I've got this, which has got four meals, two servings per four meals. So it's really like, eight servings of food, which is crazy. Like that'll last me quite a while. And this is 
my first week special. Usually the signature plan of four meals for two people, it's $80, but it's my intro week. So I got a little bit off. So actually I got two servings of four meals for $57. So that is, let's do the math here. Okay, I'm like 57 divided by eight. Cause it's like eight servings. That's $7 per serving. And these taste so good. Ooh, I can't wait for this one. And seared scallops and caper butter. I've never made scallops, but I'm so excited to give it a try. Crispy skin salmon with salsa verde and farro salad. This looks so good too. Oh my, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna put these away. I've actually been ordering Blue Apron for a few weeks now. I am going to make my Blue Apron meal. And I love how it fits into my lifestyle. These meals are so delicious and healthy. If I'm by myself, I have a leftover serving for the next day, but I actually really love when I'm with someone as well because then I get to impress them with how delicious it tastes. And then they think I'm a really good cook when really it's all Blue Apron, which is really exciting. Like I, I finally think I really enjoy cooking. It's really good. Yeah, delicious. Okay. As excited as I am to make the blue apron meals. I'm just having pizza tonight. <laughs> Hi, can I get the reduced fat turkey bacon? The closing last night that I had, I got home at like 10.30, I was so tired. So I let myself sleep until 7.30 this morning. And in order to get back to my house, I like had to leave. Now I didn't have time to make breakfast. I, I totally, how did I forget to show you guys? I actually got a parking ticket yesterday. Yep. I can't believe it, for $44. And my breakfast and drink this morning came out to a total of $9.21. It's actually funny that this week I feel like I've gone to Starbucks a lot because I typically don't. I really don't go that often usually. You've gotta be kidding me. I just got pulled over and got a speeding ticket after getting a parking ticket yesterday. But I was speeding, I was, I deserved it, I did. I gotta slow down. I just gotta slow down. I'm so stupid. Oh man. This is gonna really mess up the budget this week. All right, let's see the damage. $139. I deserved that. today except for the fact that I got a parking ticket <gasps> oh no not parking I got a parking ticket yesterday mom I got a speeding ticket <sighs> I know I know yeah anyway so I'm so excited literally when I tell you I've been thinking about this all day I, I truly mean it I've been thinking about making these scallops so let's do it rice Pat. veggies prepping yeah, it does look really pretty sometimes the stems Mom, wow. like salties. Yes. Okay. Ooh. Love the orange with the scallop. I think the whole thing is so good. It makes high quality cooking really easy. It really does. It ever. I swear, every time anyone that does it is like, I feel like I'm eating from a restaurant right now. And I'd have to say it's very healthy. Yeah, I'm all for it. This is so. This is seven dollars per serving. Are you kidding me? Yeah, for scallops? This. Yeah, wow. but it tastes like total super, restaurant quality. Super inexpensive. Mm -hmm. It's happening again, oops, oh my goodness. Okay. Y'all know the order, $9.21. Sure would be nice to have a Tesla right now. to Saturday. So yesterday I stopped at a store and I got a bottle of champagne and that was $17 and I brought it to my friend's house because he recently bought a house and he invited me over to see his house. So that's what I did with the rest of my evening and he ordered pizza which I had and then when I asked him oh what's your Venmo? He said it was his treat because he was hosting so I actually didn't have to pay for dinner last night. And today is Saturday. We have made it to Saturday. We've got today to go. I have 50 miles of gas in my gas tank so that's very limited. Limiting. I really don't want to have to fill up again this week. <laughs> Five miles left. Well, we're 25 miles away with 25 miles of gas. And we made it. 
All right, I'm gonna make dinner. I'm going with the Blue Apron Crispy Skin Salmon. Looks fairly easy. Okay, here it is, the Faro Salmon. This is a try. I'm really excited about the zucchini. I love zucchini and I just never make it because I never know how to, so. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. Mm. He approves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very healthy, too. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. All right, the week is over. I made it through the week. Most importantly, I'm going to calculate the total. Did I stay within my budget? 168, 17, 20. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, it's getting so close. 463 dollars and 47 cents. I did it. Honestly, I'm not gonna celebrate. It's not that amazing of a feat, but I will say if I wouldn't have had those parking and speeding tickets It would have been incredibly good for me It would have been $280 for the whole week when you look at my weeks past that's so much better for me I still wasn't perfect. There's still little things that I could do better This was like my first full week in Seattle as a real estate agent like doing this whole new job I clearly wasn't as prepared as I could be which is why I was leaning on Starbucks <laughs> for some food But I have to say I think it was really really helpful getting my blue apron or it starts at 7 around 750 per meal and it, 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 This is what it looks like. It's just delicious Whereas when I made my own meal without blue apron that was around seven dollars that this is what it looked like and it did not taste good, let me tell you. It was like hard to eat. I really love it. I plan on using it more, and if you guys want it, I'll have my link to Blue Apron below. It gets you $60 off across your first three boxes, so that's $20 off per box. That'll save you a little money if you're trying to stay on a budget, but enjoy what you eat and get life a little more convenient check out Blue Apron. Anyways, I really enjoyed making this video. I think it was a lot of fun and staying within a budget and spending less money just makes me feel good overall. If you guys want me to make another one of these videos where I try and stay under $250 as my budget, um, because really I should be able to do that as long as you know I, I pay for my parking and I don't speed, I, I, I should be able to get there. So let me know in the comments if you want that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.